I found what I was looking for. But the Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And should we punishment? Talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great blubbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. At least it'd be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are, sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as keeper. Understood, husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. But make no mistake, I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress. Perfectly. You're the boss. Ah, uh, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the black sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional. Represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Now, I'll speak to Cecil here in a moment. Alright, I'm gonna go to the five tenements that are on the wall. You guys might be able to zoom in and see them uh, or find a picture or something like that but I can't see them okay first tenement, tenement says never dishonor the night mother to do so is to invoke the wrath of Cetus second one says never betray the dark brotherhood or its secrets to do so will invoke the, the wrath of Cetus third one says never dis uh, disobey or refuse to carry out an order from the Dark Brotherhood superior. To do so is to invoke the wrath of Cetus. Tenement 4. Never steal the possessions of a Dark Brother or Dark Sister. To do so is to invoke the wrath of Cetus. Tenement 5. Never kill a dark brother or dark sister. To do so, invoke the wrath of Cetus. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be 
quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. <laughs> Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> he likes to make bad butts. The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Go to a location and killed the target. But this is different. The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sitha's sake, don't get killed. I don't like mines, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. You've got people to kill, my friend. That's too, ah, that's too much of an obsession. Man. Yeah. Just because you're now a professional assassin, don't think you have to skulk around in the dark like a schemer and stab people. Do what I do. Walk up to your target, introduce yourself, melt their skin off, and then run like the wind. <laughs> Works every time. Their arrival's the best thing that's happened to the Sanctuary in years. Astrid is an effective leader, but we've been rudderless for too long. Scrouncing for contracts, abandoning the tenants. The Dark Brotherhood has been reduced to a group of common cutthroats. Frankly, it's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, goodbye, kill lots of people. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. You're headed to the Hag's Cure, right? It's a good shop. You should examine their wares. Never pass up the chance to buy a good potion. Or poison. And one more thing. Have fun. You'll be committing a dark deed, but there's no reason you shouldn't enjoy yourself. You're only young once. Trust me, I know. Two hundred years ago, I would have laid down my life for the unholy matron. But that age is long since past. Astrid is my matron now. Can't wait to hear all about the next person's murder. The shadow scales are all but forgotten. Ancient tradition. Need something? You must speak to that Moiri woman, correct? I have heard rumors in Windhelm. She was recently implicated in a thievery, along with her lover. The lover will likely be her target. If memory serves me correctly, he leads a group of bandits. So this may be rather interesting for you. Truthfully, I'm not entirely sure. It's not that I don't have the utmost respect for Sithis and the Night Mother. In the ancient ways. I do. But I've never been much for religion. I kill because it's what I've been trained to do. It's all I know. So long as Astrid is happy, I'm happy. Right then. Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband. She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorites. Yeah, follow my wife's orders, and don't do anything stupid. The witless fool and his pet corpse, take a guess. Yeah, good luck. Wait, oh wait! I know you. Yes, yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. I am, I am! But not 
just my mother, our mother, hmm? the night mother, oh yes. <laughs> and you helped me, you helped poor Cicero, you talked to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the night mother, and our mother, she will never forget. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the boy. Cicero takes care of our lady's body, boils it, preserves it, keeps it safe, makes sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. Look after our matron, you see, the night mother. I keep her clean and protected and <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. There is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her. Say the word. <laughs> oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Now, of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Her lady has not chosen Cicero. And certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But someday. Until next time, sister. Alright, we got everybody's opinion about what this new event is set for. Uh. What's her name? The, the shadow scales are all but forgotten. Ancient tradition from another time. Yeah, that, that's nice, but can you get out of the doorway? Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's herald, to play some part in a being's inevitable end. You're being sent to meet with a contact directly, is that correct? What a most unusual occurrence. Astrid usually performs this duty herself. I can only assume she wants to test the full breadth of your abilities. So be polite and professional and represent us well. Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Walk always in the shadow of Sith. Alright, that's everybody to talk to.
after Caesar appeared. <laughs> yeah, uh, when I when we first met Caesar, I did point out his attire, and there was a reason for that. <laughs> and you guys know now why I pointed out his attire. Go. Take care of the Muiri contract. There will be plenty more, I promise you. Just be yourself. Eliminate the targets any way you see fit. Quiet, loud, quick, slow. Whatever you feel is best. Occasionally, I'll give you a contract with certain parameters. Stay within them, and you'll earn yourself a bonus. Very little. You have my word on that. The Night Mother represents a chapter in the Dark Brotherhood's history that has long since been closed. Today we live by our own rules. We're the last sanctuary in all of Tamrio, and only by foregoing the old ways have we survived for so long. My only worry is her keeper. I'm not sure what Cicero expects to gain by bringing the Night Mother here, but he'll soon learn this is my sanctuary. You go speak with Muiri. I've got to deal with the Night Mother. And see, look at that. Wow. She put a dagger into that thing right there. I assume that spot right there on the map is supposed to represent Makov. Well, so that spot the over contract. there is Windhelm. Plenty more, I promise you. Yeah, I'm talking to my viewers. She, 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 she. Uh, be, uh, she puts the dagger where you get the contract, not where you go to do the contract, but where you get it. We got the first contract in Windhelm. And we're getting our next contract in Makov. So it just makes sense for her to stab a dagger.